Okay, so this is part two about markup of discounted taxes. For this one, I'm, I'm going to specifically focus on discounts and taxes. So here, this first one, we have the original price of a book is $49.95. Our tax is 3%. What we want to do, I want to figure out, okay, what this is really asking. My original price is $49.95, and my tax is 3%. Then it's going to be adding 3% to my original price. To find 3%, I first have to multiply. $49.95 times 3%. How do I do that? First, I convert my 3% into a decimal. It's going to be 0 0.03, because i got to move it two places over. But I don't have anything here. So I need to add a 0 as a placeholder. 0 0.03. Multiply it times 0 0.03. This is an easy one. I can do this one by hand. 3 times 5 is 15. 9 times 5 is 27. Plus 1 is 28. 3 times 9 is 27. Plus 2 is 29. 3 times 4 is 12. Plus 2 is 14. I don't know 0 times everything's going to be 0, so I can just leave it as this. Or I can write it out. Placeholder 0. 0 times 5 is 0. 0 times 9 is 0. 0 times 9 is 0. 0 times 4 is again 0. It's going to be the same thing for my next zero, so I can just add these up, cut myself some slack. 5. 8 plus 0 is 8. 9 plus 0 is 9. 4 plus 0 is 4. 1 plus 0 is 1. Now, how many decimal places do I have throughout this whole thing? I have 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have four decimal places. One, three, four. I can cut it off right here and say I have one dollar and forty-nine cents equals my tax. So that plus forty-nine ninety-five. Add it up. I have nine plus five is fourteen. Nine plus four is thirteen. Plus one is 14, carry the 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 1 is 11, carry the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. My total price will be $51.44. Now, what about if I did a discount? For my discount, it says, my original price of a CD is $17. My discount is 50%. So I'm taking 50% off, that's a great deal. But i got to figure out how much I'm actually buying it for. So for my discount, it's going to be a minus problem. I have to find out what 50% of 17 is. So I have $17 times 50%. 50% converted to a decimal is going to be 0 0.50 or just 0 0.5. So multiply times 0 0.5 times. I have 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 7 is 35. Carry the 3. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 3 is 8. Now, how many decimal places do I have? I have 1, 2, 3. So I can move this over three places. 1, 2, 3. My 50% of my price is going to be $8.50. I can then subtract 17.00 minus $8.50, or 8 and 5 tenths. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 5, I have to borrow. It's going to be 5. 6 minus 8, I have to borrow. 16 minus 8 is 8. My answer is 850. Now, here, I look, I have the same thing. That's because 50% is exactly half of 17. I could have cut myself short, and I said, oh, I know 50% is going to be exactly half, so I can just take half of 17 and call it a day. That's a little trick. It doesn't work for every problem. But sometimes your percents are just nice to you. So that's 850. That's how to do taxes and discounts. Tax is just a smaller form of markup. Uh, if, you, if you need to look back and figure out how to do markup, look at the previous video. It should show you how. Thank you.